UK set for weeks of heavy snow as rare Arctic phenomenon delays spring. Meteorologists today confirmed the onset of a major sudden stratospheric warming SSW, event above the polar ice cap. The phenomenon, which last happened five years ago, led to the coldest March in the UK since 1962 with significant snowfalls lying on frozen ground for a month and brought below average temperatures until summer. It is triggered when westerly winds high above the Earth's surface are disturbed by changes in pressure lower in the atmosphere. Kinks or even breaks form in the jet stream causing these mild winds to weaken bringing a change to a cold, easterly airflow from the Siberian Arctic. The polar vortex, a pool of freezing air over the North Pole held in place by a rapid wind current, can separate and plunge over Europe bringing extreme cold weather. Forecasters paint a grim picture for the UK outlook over the next few weeks with persistent snow and freezing temperatures to come. Met Office forecaster Ella Clayton said, Sudden stratospheric warming, SSW, has already started to happen and we can start to see the polar vortex begin to split. If this continues we think it will gradually impact the jet stream allowing cold conditions to build across northern Europe. It is not an immediate however, so we expect to see the impacts of this late February and early March, with the continuation of cold conditions. Met Office forecaster Martin Bowles warned easterly winds will keep temperatures below average until at least the end of February. He said, it is looking generally quite cold through the rest of this month and we think there will be a switch back to easterly winds bringing cold conditions across the country. It will follow an unsettled weekend with an active front bringing wind and rain on Saturday before the weather turns wintry again by the end of the weekend. During an SSW event the air in the stratosphere, the second layer of the atmosphere around 10 miles above the Earth's surface, collapses and warms giving rise to its name. The last event happened in January 2013 and coincided with an overall monthly temperature around 0.3 C below average. Bitterly cold weather persisted through to mid-spring that year and brought the coldest March for half a century. Temperatures remained 0.9 C below normal in February, 3.3 C below average in March with April 1.1 C lower than normal and May 0.8 C colder, according to Met Office figures. The effects of SSW are not immediate but usually set in around 10 days to a fortnight after it is first observed. For the UK it means raw numbing winds and icy conditions could hold out into the start of spring. Piers Corbin, forecaster for weather action, said Britain's hoping for an end to the recent snow, ice and brutal morning frosts may have a lengthy wait. A displaced polar vortex driven by sudden stratospheric warming will drag freezing air from the Arctic across the UK, he warned. He said, we are seeing a sudden stratospheric warming leading to wild swings in the jet stream and marked differences in atmospheric air pressure. Towards the middle of February cold and snowy weather will develop over Scotland and most of England and Wales. It turns increasingly snowy into the second half of February, especially from the Midlands northwards although sleet in the south could turn to substantial snowfall. There are signs of it turning very cold toward the end of the month thanks to a displaced polar vortex with heavy snow and blizzards a threat in northern Britain and Scotland. Meteorologists say the impact on the weather is dependent on movements of the polar vortex although they expect a major event to occur. Dr. Peter Innes, a lecturer in meteorology at the University of Reading, said, We think this will be a major warming event and as such will have a large impact on wind directions in the stratosphere bringing a change from westerly to easterly winds. The typical impacts when this happens are that high pressure builds over Scandinavia bringing easterly winds along its southern flank. At this time of year the air in this region is very cold, so this brings colder conditions to the UK. It also blocks milder, Atlantic weather systems and we tend to see more of a flow from Scandinavia or even further east from Siberia. He added, during a sudden stratospheric warming event westerly winds become much weaker and sometimes they revert to easterlies, this is what we think is going to happen as we think this will be a strong warming. Cold air held over the North Pole is able to slosh out as the polar vortex weakens, we are seeing this just starting to happen. This body of air can split into separate blobs 
one of which usually spills over Siberia and eastern Russia while the other dips over North America. The main effect is that the jet stream which runs west to west bringing in weather from the Atlantic breaks down and can lead to an easterly airflow. The effects of SSW usually start to be observed around 10 days to a fortnight after it has been confirmed.